check it out. So today, Jamal and myself head over to Frank Pepe's Pizzeria to try their tomato pizza, which is back in season. And we're going to find out why this chain is so popular in New Haven, Connecticut. So let's go. So this is a uh, Frank Pepe's uh, tomato pie. It has, let me see, Italian tomatoes, um, mozzarella, garlic, basil, uh, grated cheese, and olive oil. Uh, it's basically it's a cold oven fire. So let's see, let me grab a piece. Nah, no, that that's not doing it any justice. Let me hold it like this. Check it out. Look at that. It's like a thin crust pie too. Mmm. I'm about to try it. Mmm. It's really good. Tomatoes are like nice and fresh. It's not like um, regular tomatoes that we get here. I'm not really a fan of tomatoes. But uh, the, the olive oil and everything else, it's like a nice complement to this pie. Really good. I think if all pizzas were like this, I eat it every day without meat. Without meat? Yeah, it's really good without the meat. The crust is nice and chewy. How's the dough? It's not bad, it's like perfect. Mozzarella. It's a good quality mozzarella. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm. Really good. Water. Yeah, basically. It smells really nice too. They cooked it properly, not too burnt. Look at this. Like not too, yeah, it's not too doughy. Perfect. Mm. Um, so this is gonna be my first time trying the Frank Pepe's pizza. Yeah, yeah, the cold fire oven. Oh, fire. Like a different process. Bigger slices. Let me dig right now. I didn't get no, too much you tomatoes. Get, nah, you should get the tomatoes. Hold on, let me get this one. No, no, the tomatoes are right. Yeah, this one got more. Yeah, that's what you need. Yeah, they're tomatoes. Yeah, they're different. Yeah. All right, so let me go with the big slice. Yeah, check it out. Let me see how it is. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Big you, can, you can even taste all the herbs that they use, too. Everything's so fresh. Yeah, the olive oil, uh, the cheese. Is yeah, I love olive oil because it's like, you know, it's greasy, but it doesn't make you feel like lousy, you know? Oh, yeah. It's like that right. good. Yeah, that's really good. Mm. I guess like you said, the tomatoes, like, I'm not really a big fan of tomatoes as well, yeah, but. These ones have like a different kind mm -hmm. of taste, though. It's almost like sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Italian. Tomato. Like a sweet Italian tomato, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's really good. The mozzarella. Nah, it's good. Like not too greasy too, so you know, oh, yeah. in the crust. Bite into the crust. Let me try it. Yeah, I didn't even bite into the crust. How is it? It's a, a nice little crust. Oh, okay. Not too bad. I should have bit into the crust, mm -hmm. but no, you got it. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I like this type of dough too, whatever they yeah, it's use. It's not too like doughy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The quality is definitely different mm -hmm. than the regular pizza stuff. Look, yeah, look at all the glaze and uh, listening to all the olive oil. <laughs> so that is a wrap of this video. Uh, shout out to Frank Pepe's for having us come out and try their tomato pie, which is back in season. I usually like the cold fire oven pizza, but usually I, I try to get meat on it, but this was a bit different. Uh, it was pretty good without any meat. Uh, the Italian really good along with the olive oil and everything else that was part of the pizza uh, everything just showed real well um, so if you're in that area or any area where Frank Pepe is located check them out so I'll see you guys next time